Hello, hello, everybody. What is up? Jerome here along with Cappy B. And Woo. welcome, welcome to an awesome live stream coming at you, everyone. We are playing on Akuma MC. If you guys didn't know, this is sponsored by Akuma MC. It's an awesome server that we play on every single week and get to hang out with people like yourself. Get online here, everyone. And on top of that, I want to thank our other sponsor, Apex Hosting, the hosting with the mosting. They provide the servers that we play on on a daily basis. And without them, we couldn't do what we do. We really appreciate that. Them and love if you guys should show them the same support that they show us for our content by going down below, clicking on them, especially if you're interested in getting a server for yourself. Uh, dude, I just got an eye skin and I'm at 9 of 10 now. Okay, let me check out my skins because I've gotten a couple. I have... Wait. I, have I think the I have Jack. the... I, if it says level next to it, that means I have it, right? Yeah. Okay, so I just on the sly totally missed me getting the Reaper skin. What? Yep. That's a cool one too, dude. That's a really yeah. cool one. It opens a portal to the world of spirits. That's actually a really cool one, man. I'm not just saying oh, that. Oh yeah. Yeah, I'm excited to try it. Like maybe it'll take me to like the ghost dimension. Yes. Or the ghost dimension. I don't know about that. I don't want to go there. Yo, Captain Blasphemy was just 14 when his parents built a very <laughs> strange machine. <laughs> <laughs> so, dude, today I might be able to start getting my gem enchants going for Dragon's Eye. Because I should be maxing out my second hand enchant, and then I'll have a little bit left over. I actually went Dragon's Eye first, I think. I have 406 in Dragon's Eye. Oh, nice, dude. And I I have, like, 19 in second hand. So we just tur like, we took two different ways of getting there, bud. Yeah. Also, dude, this is going to be a longer stream, because after this, everyone, we're going to pause for a little bit, uh, and then we're going to set up to do a um, a board game, or Minecraft Mario Party uh, live stream. It's going to be really fun. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be fun. Let me actually ping Blade about that. Ad. The server is already in mods for today, Jerome. Oh, okay, okay, cool. So we already got it going. Nice. Like, I think you I think you asked earlier, and I wanted to make sure you weren't just going to ask him again. And by the way, everyone, we have an awesome thing here. Every, every $100 of stream tips, we got some stolen Pokemon cards from the Steve Meister, because he left them here because he just went back to Florida today. So... Yeah. Every $100 of stream tips total, we'll be opening up one of these packs. Jeremiah Donaldson thinks the $5 stream tip. It's -a me, Jeremiah. Well, thank you, Jeremiah. You are the captain of the live stream, my friend. Good to see you. Dude, I'm having... My birthday was amazing, Jerome. I just sat and ate chocolate all day. Oh, what kind of chocolate mullet? Uh, Dove Special Dark. Oh, interesting, interesting choice. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. My birthday was amazing, and like the fans were super supportive and made me feel loved. I used to love um, which chocolate? Cadbury. Any kind of Cadbury chocolate Ooh, is just oh. Look, well, it's good, but the cream eggs are like too much. I can have like a, a cream egg, and then I'm done with chocolate for the whole day. Dude, have you ever had the Carmelo bars? I think it's made oh, by Cadbury. Those, those are, are insane, good. dude. Do you remember when we were kids, Jerome, and, like, the Willy Wonka movie came out, and then suddenly Willy Wonka was an actual brand you could buy? Oh, yeah. That was weird, right? That was. But those everlasting gobstoppers, I still got one. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, nerds. Did you ever not just put the entire box up to your mouth and eat them all at once? No, that's the only way to eat them, unless they're Nerds yeah. Rope. Nerds Rope is a pretty optimal delivery system of Nerds and Twizzler at the same time. Oh, uh, dude, I actually liked, I like Nerds Rope, but I would eat those too quickly, too. They'd just be gone in immediate, like a second. So, what do you think is the most optimal candy for, like, enjoyment, then? Optimal candy. Hmm. Like... Would I like. Take mini... I used to love yeah. Sour Patch Watermelon because they're so small mm. and you get a lot of flavor with them, and so the whole bag lasts like a ridiculous amount of time. Yeah, that's valid. That's valid. Oh, you got a five dollar one over there. Yeah, we got Underman. Thank you for the five dollar stream tip. 
Hey Jerome, I just want to say how I remade the Lost Infinity mod on Bedrock Edition. Do you think that's cool enough to show my friends? I mean, yeah, why would you not show your friends? That's super awesome, yeah. dude. I don't I don't even know how you did that on Bedrock. There's probably specific data packs that do it. There's like so, there are like a bunch of hoops you can go through these days. Like I'm pretty sure I saw a thing called Canvas Mod Loader the other day that loads Fabric and Forge, but I'm not sure. Hmm. And there's like an entirely new like mod loader out there called Quilt, I think. Quilt, okay. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if I've heard of that one. Yeah, it's a, it's a real comfy one. It's just it's like a quilt. You got fabric, and you got bedrock. Ooh wee, which one is more comfy? <laughs> Man. For real though, Underman, that's super awesome of you. Thank you again uh, for the five dollar stream tip, and really awesome that you managed to make a mod like that. That's like that's you're a smart cookie, sir. Oh, dude, I wish I could be smart. I wish I could be a cookie. Wait. Oh, dude. So, like, what type of cookie would you be, though? I was about to ask you, if you were, if you, if your, like, personality was a cookie, what would it be? Ooh, if my personality was a cookie, I feel like I'd be a peanut butter cookie, because they're, like, nice and, like, like, they're mellow and they're golden brown. I was oh, actually going to say the same thing, but inside, instead of it being peanut butter, it's hot sauce. And I think that would be mine. <laughs> <laughs> the deceptive peanut butter cookie, I see. You think you're going to have a good time, but no! We got you with the spicy cookie! Yes, yes. Also, dude, I love, uh, around Christmas time every year, I don't know if they actually, like, are around year-round. They probably are, because they're just delicious, but my family only gets them around Christmas time. Our fudge-covered Oreos. Oh, Those are insane, dude. Those dude. Are so good. Listen, I am weak in the knees for fudge 24-7, Jerome. If you put fudge in the name, I will eat it. I'm so weak to it. It's like my Fudge hot night. sauce. I do it. Spicy fudge, I'm there. You know, it's actually funny, but it's Amer to Americans, it doesn't seem... It seems weird, right? But you realize in a lot of... Um, uh, what is it? I, I guess you just call it like South American, uh, as well as like Latin American uh, countries, yeah, well, Central yeah. American. Um, it's very common to have spicy chocolates. Yeah, like they'll have like chili powder and stuff like that in there. Like they'd have like an ancient drink that was spicy hot chocolate back in the day, and that was like red pepper and cocoa bean. Ah, oh, that's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hydraulics! In... Oh, sorry. Ooh, uh, I was just saying, it. Hydraulics, thanks for that $5 stream tip, dude. Yo, how are you doing? Also, what is this? I'm doing good, man. I'm doing good. Um, little tired, but all good. And uh, this is Akuma MC. It's a server that we play on each and every week. We hang out with fans. We have 459 players online. We built quite the community over here. It's awesome. And I highly suggest you come on over here and hang out with us. Okay. So, it was... The first hot chocolate drink is believed to have been created by the Maya around 2,500 to 3,000 years ago, and a cocoa drink was an essential part of an Aztec culture by 1400 AD. Oh, and I'm not going to try cool. and con like pronounce that because it has schwakas over a lot of letters, but it does exist. Oh, it's got the uh, the swoosh. Yeah, it's got like two swooshes. It's like it's like joke. Coletto. Oh, it's probably incredible. The, I wonder oh, what the dude, original I, drink tastes like, dude. Dude, I'd be down to try it, honestly. Oh, I'm sure it's have amazing. You ever, have you ever tried, like, like super thick hot chocolate? Yeah, what country does that? There's a country that's, like, known for it. I'll look it up really quick. We're just having a food stream today, guys. Don't mind us. Super Hayden Collins, thanks for that $5 stream tip. What did I just show up to? Captain Bless him yelling about a spicy cookie? Yeah, this, uh, this is the spicy cookie live stream. No, I don't it's know. Italian hot chocolate. Oh, it is Italian. <laughs> I've never... Hmm. Interesting. Interesting to know. Okay. So, it looks almost like the consistency of cake batter for anyone who's interested in the picture I'm looking at. So, what they do is they... How to make Italian hot chocolate is they, in a small bowl, whisk until smooth, one-fourth cup milk and cornstarch set aside. 
sift the cocoa into a medium bowl and then add the sugar and whisk together set aside and then it seems like you just kind of mix it and stir it until it has a smooth consistency and it's just like a very thick like hot chocolate paste that you can drink oh man that sounds awesome oh, look what man. you did hayden Oh, uh, dude, I'm just saying, man, that if we ever, like, get together sometime soon, like, preferably in, like, a winter month, we should totally make that. That would be awesome, dude. Or why don't we just like, do it while it's still super hot outside? <laughs> and, well, I'd like to try adding the, uh, like, red pepper to it, because that's what they would add to the, like, spicy hot chocolate Ooh. for the Mayas. That'd be nice. Hey, JS, one of our mods, has been a member here for 28 months. He's definitely been around for longer, but he's been a member for 28 months. Good day to you, Jerome and Cappy. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks, dude. We are. I hope you're having a wonderful day, too. Jerome, just imagine me and you, we make some hot chocolate. We get on the couch. Train to Busan. <laughs> oh, man. Say less. I love that movie, dude. Yeah, I'll watch it again. I don't mind. It was good. I've watched it probably three, four times, and I'll watch it again. That's a, a great movie. Oh, yeah. I feel like they're doing another one soon, and I'd totally be willing to watch that one. They did make it, and it was disappointing. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, I, I it was. I watched it. It was okay at best, I would say. Okay, it was okay. It was aight. Nothing beat oh. that recent one that we watched, though. What was that? The Korean zombie uh, high school movie? The, that the was so good. The one, We yeah. Are Already Dead? Oh, yeah. my God. That was, was so, so good, dude. Good. Oh, my God. I, I, okay, listen. I'm applying, like, John, like, Game of Thrones rules to this and Walking Dead rules to this. If you don't see the body, they ain't dead. You know what, Cat? Wiser things have never been said before. Like, if you don't see it happen right before your eyes in the series, they're not dead. They can be called back at any time for a dramatic reveal. Hayden Collins, by the way, thanks for the $5 stream tip. Look what I did. I haven't or I haven't been to a stream in over a week. Also, I'm surprised you even remember me. I'm a huge fan, though. Hayden, why are, oh, you, why are you like this? Oh, they did it. They got you. They, they, see how he saved it? To, like, the very end, Jerome. I know, I know. That's that, that's what we call skill. But that does bring us to about $25 in stream tips. And remember, at $100, we're opening up Steve's packs of Pokemon cards. We got a bunch of them here. Well, last time we offered, like, 200 to bite into them. What if we just lowered it just a little bit, Jerome, to, like, 150 Fine. Like, if there's a $150 stream tip, I'll bite into them. But it has to be okay. a single one. A hammer. Okay. So $150 stream tip. Okay, so let, let's parse this up. Let's, let's figure this out. Let's figure out the semantics of this. Will you bite them one by one as you reveal them to ruin them all perfectly? Oh, my. <laughs> sure. One by one as I reveal them, I'll bite them. Rip you into them. Forget, you can't forget about the taste review. You, you got to be like, ah, Lotad. Tastes about as garbage as I thought it would. Oh, of course, dude. Lotad probably tastes the worst out of all the cards. Absolutely. Just the I mean, it looks the worst. Charlie Dotson said, have you ever had the most hottest chocolate bar? No. What is the most hottest chocolate bar? I, I imagine it's a very spicy chocolate bar. Well, yeah, but I wonder what it is. Okay, I am going to be professional Googler now. Spiciest chocolate also, it's unrelated to anything, but Lotad's a coward. Um. Okay, let me tell you what. Fannie Mae Gourmet Chocolate. Hot Chocolate Challenge. The world's spiciest challenge. So it seems like there's several pieces of chocolate you can order in a box. It's called, okay. you got like the Crunch of Doom, and it's a crunchy milk chocolate infused with the unreleased razor pepper. I don't want to eat a razor what? pepper. Yeah, what, is what does that even pepper? mean? Did it say unreleased? Wait, and it's an unreleased? Like, what is it coming in the next <laughs> patch updates for Earth? <laughs> what does that like mean? A, it's like a loot box item for Earth, bro. Razor pepper. Earth's new patch update will release the razor pepper, in case How you guys didn't get the notes. Cherry stated that it is two times as hot as the Carolina Reaper. Oh, God. Which, Why which would you would eat this? The, why would you do this to yourself? 
That's because at hateful. that much, like that level of hot will already upset your stomach. But then if you if you ever had like spicy stuff and then creamy stuff, usually will upset your stomach even more. So this is just like you're asking for like explosive, explosive diarrhea. Like well, even then, a pepper that potent is enough to burn going out too, Jerome. Oh, I'm sure. I don't know if everyone else is the same. Maybe, maybe I, I mean, in my opinion, it sounds like a recipe for explosive diarrhea. Like, don't get me wrong. I love me some, like, mango habanero. I love that. This ain't it. This ain't it! People will eat that just for bragging rights, though. They definitely will. Oh, for sure. It's like, hey, bro, I'm in a fraternity. Want to eat a crazy spicy pepper? I'll do a better. I bet you. I bet you, Marty would take a little convincing to take a bite. Oh no, Marty God. loves spice, dude. You might end this man's life. <laughs> the, oh, okay, one one second. I'm gonna look up side effects of Carolina Reaper. While localized symptoms such as mouth burning, mouth numbness, and even vomiting are the main risks of eating these peppers, recent case reports have revealed more serious complications of these potent foods. Okay, so this is well, in Cap, no. This is not good. What? Let me read the first stream tip and then the Ooh. second. Renee Stewart, thanks for the $10 stream tip. I admire your guys' dedication and aptitude for creating amazing daily content that many can enjoy. Thank you, Renee. That's super sweet of you to say. Oh, my God. Pull the stream up so oh, that's, that's like super sweet of you to say. Thank you, Renee. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. And Salvador Leon with a hundred and fifty dollar hammer, meaning I gotta rip open one of these packs of cards and then eat each and every card. And I hate it. He said, "Let's rock and roll, ladies and gentlemen. Let's rock and roll." What's up, Jerome? What's up, Cappy? Nothing much. Yes. Just eating Pokemon cards. Apparently, don't tell my mom. Yes. She's gonna be so disappointed in me. She's already disappointed in me. No, no, I don't think so. Yeah, I can't think of anything weird I would eat. <laughs> Cap, I've just been uh, been torn down over the years. Oh no, there's a V Star card in here. Oh, sorry. No, that is true. Um, yeah, it used to work. And then Steve sat here one time and ruined my entire life. Let me work on this. Now, we're going to get you going, Cap. We're going to get you rolling here. If you go to the original. Yeah, you're in. Just... Yeah, there we go. All right, Cap's in. And just in case something happens in game, we'll throw the game audio in there. All right, here we go, guys. I tried counting four from the back, but apparently I don't know how to count to four. So... All right, yeah, I apparently really don't know how to count to four, so we're just going to throw it from... There we go. We got to start it off. We got Sneasel. Okay, what is Sneasel? Oh, his zoo, his Sui and Sneasel. Ooh. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. I yeah. see. His Sui and... No. Kind of, uh... Kind of like Odie. Like a Cheerio. All right, oh, next okay. up we got... Ooh, Mistrevious! <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Oh, good We're stuff. Steve when you knew. Oh, mm. man. It's like more grape flavored. I, I really appreciate how hard you're going in on this, Jerome. Like, you're biting it. You're doing it. Oh, you know me, buddy. I love my cards. And, <laughs> uh, Barboach! Barboach. Does that one taste fishy or what? Oh, yeah. Like a sardine for sure. <laughs> JS said, as a card collector, this hurts. <laughs> Wait till I get to the VMAX. <laughs> Poniard! Hmm. Oh, man. Uh, uh, Boy, Jerome's uh, eating cards because someone did 150 dono. Yeah, it tastes like steel. Yep, that definitely tastes like a Poniard. Oh, yeah. Eevee! What a cute... Uh! <laughs> yeah. Yeah, definitely an Eevee. Definitely tastes like an Eevee. Then we got Whiskash. Mmm. Oh, Blade's here. This one's for you, Blade. Oh, oh. Yeah. yeah. You know what's crazy? You got Barboach. Wow, Whiskash is tough. Oh, because it's yes. a reverse hollow. 
Oh yeah, the hollow is crunchy. Yeah. Ah, yeah, it's crunchy. Now we have a shiny Hisuian Arcanine. Oh, let me see. Oh, dude. oh, I should. Actually, it wasn't even shiny. Oh, it was just dude. an Arcanine, but it was a, a star. Take it, Wolfie. Thanks for the $20 stream tip. They said, howdy. Hey, and that brought us over $200. So I get to open up a pack of cards and not eat it after this one. There you go. Gotta love it. You got to take some L's to get the wins, bro. All right, dude. I got Basharp. Again, I think. I want the sharp, but it's like the blunt. I got Azelf. Azelf, a legendary. Yeah, well, that one's gone. Like a poopy legendary. And last is Shield on, but I'm confused. All right, the reason that I'm was, confused, right, is because I. One of those I, was the that's what I'm saying. None of them were. I, I pulled out this V Star card, and none of them were V Star. I'm confused. Oh, that is weird. Yeah, very. Very odd. Might that one, too. <laughs> All right, well, time to open up. We had $100 in stream tip. Every $100 in stream tip, we're opening up another pack of Steve's cards. And if we had another $150 stream tip, we're eating some of Steve's pack of cards. All yeah. right, here we go. Let's get this thing open. Frank said, just because you see a V-Star card doesn't mean you actually get one. That's dumb. They should feel yeah. bad. The terrible system. That's my end analysis here. <laughs> All right, these are cards I actually get to keep. Also, where is the? There we go. All right, I mean, got the energy. Unless one looks tasty. True. We got a steel energy. Okay, very. See nice. how close I can put this up. I can get that pretty close. That's pretty good. Yeah. We got a shield on. That's not bad. I've got Yuxi. Oh. Man, you sure did have nearly all three of them before you bit that other one in half. <laughs> That's Overquill, the evolved form of Quillfish in Hisui. Yeah, Hisuian. Oh, yeah, it's not even necessary to say Hisuian in front of it. Is It says it there, but why? It's the only kind. Yeah, it's the only kind of Overquill, unless they plan to release vanilla Overquill. Next yeah. up, we have Yanma. Then we have... Oh, Stanler. It's an OG. Yeah. Thank you, Charlie Dotson, for the $10 stream tip. Just putting it out there. My church youth group was eating the chocolate bar. I told them I didn't want to, but they said just a little piece, and I about it died. Yeah, how were they eating that, dude? If that's like the 4 million Scoville one, yikes. I would, I'd be dead. I'd be D-E-D, -E my friend. We got Hoot Hoot. And then we got Cricketot. All right, come on. Give me like a V-Star or something. Pseudo Wudo. Who is this? Obama Snow. A single strike. Full art. That looks really cool, actually. Ooh. Show it to the camera again. That looks oh, really cool. cool. And then, ooh. Holographic cool. Bastiodon. Look at that. Ooh, steel type. Steel type. And then we're back around again. Dude, I like that Obama Snow, though. That Obama Snow is really cool. Is Mega sick. Obama Snow is super good. All right, guys. It's big, big card openings there. Remember, every $100 we open more, we're at 217 now. 217. You guys are killing it. Oh, yeah. You guys are crushing it. Thanks so much, everybody, for being here. Your support means the world to us. And the more support we get, the more likely we are to just keep being on this server. Akuma MC. Yeah, buddy. Okay. I have 150 trillion tokens, Jerome. Oh, what are you going to spend all of them on? Hmm. Well, how many do you have? I don't May know. May I yet. suggest a tuba? A tuba? A tube of what? Toothpaste? <laughs> tube of toothpaste? Johnny Riley said, what does Dragon's Eye actually do? Dragon's Eye is insanely overpowered, my friend. So if you take a look, it will have the ability to... Let me see. Has the ability to virtually mine the blocks broken by Jackhammer, uh, which can result in your NHS progging for a second time. So pretty much it gives you added chance to have Jackhammer hit twice, which is crazy. But... 
At the moment, we're working on maxing out second hand, and then we should be able to do that by the end of the stream, and then start working on Dragon's Eye by the end of the stream. That's kind of our goal. Oh, we're crushing it now. Someone asked what level my black holes. It should be maxed out. Uh, 75, right? Yeah. Yeah, a lot of people were telling me to get that in earlier streams. Like, you were included in one of those people telling me to get it in earlier streams. So we maxed that out. Yeah. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. Just... I'm minding you, Cap. I'm minding you. Are you, though? Are you, though? No. Because, <laughs> like... I'm pretty sure I just blew up your mind, like, twice, and, like, I'm just saying. Her bloom. Yay! Yay! Cappy, cappy, cappy. Boom, boom! Make me go happy. Amber said, did you know people in Pokemon eat Pokemon? Yeah, dude, it's crazy! There are, that, there are that some people log. that eat Pokemon. I feel so bad. I'm like, don't eat the Pokemon. That log, though, buddy. Do you think, mil do you think mil tank would taste good? Well, I don't think you typically butcher dairy cows, right? I don't know. I'm not a cow butcherer. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not, like, one of those either. But I bet it tastes delicious. To be fair, <laughs> you worked in a butcher shop for a while. I'm surprised you uh, didn't learn about like the different types of cuts and all that. Oh, dude, my my main job working at a butchery was making sure that things stayed clean and like, a very important job to have at a butchery. A yeah. very very important job. Yeah, it was my first job. I learned a few things, but like I didn't become a full fledged butcher or anything. Like I learned how to cut a few pork chops and some steaks, and I got very comfortable like handling like kitchen knives and like heavier duty stuff like a deli slicer and a bone saw but I, I wouldn't ever call myself an actual butcher you know give the real deal to me cappy well yes i am butcher yes what is server it is akumamc.net yes comrade the IP is play.akumamc.net. It's directly under Jerome's gorgeous face. No. Yeah, it is. You can tell because his nose points to it like a sign. I remember, guys, to keep popping on the server. We have 467 people online. Let's go, go, go. It'd be awesome to get to 500 by the end of the stream. 467 players online. That is insane. That really is, though, dude. Salvador, I don't even know what that means. He said, Cappy's a butcher where it counts. Our hearts. Huh. I don't know how to take that. I don't either. It thank terrifies you. me. I guess thank you. Thank you so much. Cappy's the heart butcher. Oh, God. All right, I'm going to go to the bathroom quick. I'll be or be. Visit. Eh. Ah. He is... Ah, he is over here. Yes. Yes, he did not stay in his mind. Yes. Hello. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Captain Blastum Power Hour. Hi, Salvador. Hi, Lemonk. Hi, Josh. Hi, Ethan. Hi, Austin. Hi, Ken of Axolotl. Thanks so much, everybody, for being here. Had an amazing freaking birthday. You guys were so supportive. Hi, Frito. Hi, Corrupted King. Thanks, everybody, for being here. You guys want... Who here wants a song? Does anybody want... A song. Does any does anybody want a song? Can I see, can I get like ones in chat if you want a song? Okay. This is one my dad taught me about trains when I was a kid, and I really enjoyed it. It goes like this. 
Little red caboose, chug, chug, chug. Little red caboose, chug, chug, chug. Little red caboose behind the train. Woo, woo. Smokestack on his back, 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 back. Going down the track, 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 track. Little red caboose behind the train. Woo, woo. That's my butt. I hope you guys enjoy that. That was a song from my childhood. Every time me and my dad would go up to a train track and there was a train going across it, we would sing that song. I, I hope you guys enjoyed that. It's a, it's about a little red caboose. Yeah. <laughs> but thank you guys so much for tuning into the live stream. Just a reminder that every hundred dollars that you guys donate, Jerome is opening up a pack of Pokemon cards that he's stealing from Steve with dastardly cunning. And every time you donate specifically $150 in one go, he will eat each card one by one like the true animal he is and he will tell you how each one tastes i hope you're all having a wonderful day and thanks for tuning in hi hannah hi hunter hi jameson i'm doing great thanks for asking like i'm just gonna dig draw him a little hole here yeah yeah now now we're in here together yeah so just, just a little bit more intimate while I'm talking to you guys. You can press each black hole. That's amazing. Hi, Madi. Hi, Steve Debbie Leet. Yeah, cards equals carbs. How do you think rock snake tastes, Cappy? I imagine it tastes like rock. Blast them? What? This? 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 Hi, JS. Oh, it just reset the whole mine. I can fix that. You get blasted. Aha, uh -huh, you are in a hole now. Aha. Uh -huh. How do you think Pokemon... How, how do I think Pokemon cards taste? Oh, I, I imagine they taste like shattered dreams and... Too many dollars spent at the video game store hoping that I could get into holographic Charizard as a kid. I did get a Mewtwo once, though. That thing was awesome. Dig him into a hole. Make a TNT tray. Dig him into a hole. Okay, here we go. We must be. We must do this with great precision. Ha, Cappy! Wait, why are you digging me into a hole, Cap? Great precision, Jerome. Cappy, with where are we going? Down. Okay. They wanted me to, so I did it. The voice is on the internet. You know, Cap, sometimes it's not good to listen to the voices on the internet. <laughs> you know what? You're right. It's totally a thing. <laughs> but I sang for them while you were taking a poop, Jerome. It was great. Thank you, Cap. You are too kind. Ah, uh, yes. I sang them the Little Red Caboose song. By the way, guys, we're at 217. If we get another $83, we're a little far off, but $83, we're going to go ahead and open up another pack of Steven's prized possession, his Pokemon oh? cards. Some Pokemans? I remember, this stream is going to go right on into another stream. We'll just take a brief pause, and it'll go right on into another stream for Apex Hosting, the hosting with the mosting. Do you think if we got our own Minecraft server, like... Like in house, we could get enough people on it to like make a grilled cheese by toasting bread on it. Cap, what? <laughs> <laughs> what? Well, I'm just saying, like, you know, we get a bunch of people on a server, and like, like a thousand people on a server, and it really strains the server so much that it overheats that you could cook grilled cheese on it and like you just have like a live feed on the grilled cheese getting cooked because people get on the server and load chunks cap <laughs> what <laughs> this, this would kill in views you know like you know that people would log onto a minecraft server to see how fast they could cook a grilled cheese oh my gosh <laughs> by the way we have uh now hit 96 in second hand. Ooh, that's nice. That's nice. That's a big one, dude. That's a big jump. 
Yes, We're gonna sir. max it out today, I bet. I bet you will. I'm gonna activate my universal pet and my bomb pet. Like, one second, I'm gonna look up. How hot do Minecraft servers get? <laughs> Oh my gosh. I mean, did you you probably could, depending on what a micro server. There's definitely servers that would work. Oh, also, I uh, Faded Glaze, I already got the treasurer set, dude. Thank you for the suggestion, but we already did that. Super awesome. Yeah, it's really good. Paint Mall King, thank you for the $5 stream tip. Hydrome, I have some illicit goods for you if you'd like. I'll, I will be spamming slash trade for you until you see this. My game name is Paint Mall King. Cap, do you want to collect some, uh, some of the goods? Ah, uh, yes. I will be under Le Bridge. Ah, uh, yes, yes, very good. Okay, so who was it? Paint the paint, the king. king of paintballs. Trade paintball king. Yes. Ah, yes. That makes up for my share of the allurements. <laughs> you guys have been roasting me a little bit by, about having more tokens, and I'm just like, well, yeah, that's the, that's like my cut. <laughs> Wait, you, got, you got shipping fees, bro. <laughs> shipping fees? Is that what you're calling it? Yeah, shipping fees. Oh my gosh. Trade that Mr. Llama. Yes. Well, I can't say no to bombs, so I guess I'll accept this trade. I mean, you definitely can say no to those. <laughs> no. Cap, I hit rank 400, dude. I finally got tier 3 pouches. Huge. Huge! I am only rank 383. Tier 3 patches? I can't believe I did it. That's a big occasion today. I think I might not have enough room in here. Your partner is still considering. Okay, there we go. Just took him a while to say yes. Yeah, I'll take all your bombs, buddy. I don't mind that. Oh my gosh, Cap. Yeah, sure. Throw them at me. Also, I had 500... Dude, I had rank 400 today. Prestige 500,000 as well. Or 500 million. Okay, so... My prestige is only... My prestige is actually 1.22 billion. 1.22... Wait, your prestige is 1.22? 1. 2 billion? Yes. Oh my gosh, I'm at 500 million. You have like double mine. I think I might, because I think I might have just maxed out my prestige like stuff earlier than you. Oh, wait, do you have max prestige finder? Uh, no, I only have 1,900. Wow, I have a much higher one. That's crazy. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. Maybe I just got lucky in some crates. Or you maybe know? you're just better. I'm just built different. Simply better. Mart Vanderly, thank you for the five euros, dude. Hi, Drum. Please try to say this Dutch sentence really fast. So I'm afraid to because I don't know what it means and it might not be a okay. appropriate thing. Okay, I'll try and I'll mute up and say it. <laughs> I'm sorry, though. I'm sure it's great. Actually, I could probably just look it up real quick, but I also am afraid to try and say it too. Okay. It doesn't sound horribly inappropriate, but I would not chance it. Uh, Cap? What? Here, I just translated it for you. Uh, yes. <laughs> wow. I, I guess that is something you could say. I, I don't know if I'd want to. God, I, I, ooh, so I'm not movies. falling for it. I'm not falling for your tricks, Bugs Bunny. Captain Yidicus, thank you for the $10 stream tip. They said, hey, Jerome, I recently turned 22 and reapplied for a second shot at college. Are you proud of that? That's awesome, dude. Congratulations. Happy birthday, by the way, or happy late birthday. But also, it's really good of you to give it another try. You got it this time around, dude. Oh, 
That's oh, another man. hundred trillion dollars. That's uh, that's your share over there, Jerome. Oh, hundred trillion tokens, Whoa. you mean? Yeah. What if I just started showing blatant favoritism? I mean, don't we already do that? I mean, yes, but we don't tell the fans. But what if I just started showing blatant favoritism in a Lawrence? I mean, don't we already do that? <laughs> I mean, I guess you technically get money from me and, like, the stuff we usually split during the live streams. So, yeah, you get a little bit of preferential treatment. Oh, that's a cue. I'm going to take all that. Renee that's, Stewart, that's, thanks for the $5 stream tip. Adulting equals imagine dying to loans. Imagine. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Instead, except with loans. Oh, oh. imagine, dude! I think by the end of the day, I might be able to do an entire next time like episode with just bombs. <laughs> oh my gosh, Kathy! <laughs> Like, I got 64 rare... Wow. Wow. That's a lot. That's a lot. Jerome, how would you feel about rolling into next video with one Q of Lawrence? I mean... For everybody. Oh, for everybody? How about me and you just split it? I mean, I could just totally give you three Q right now. I don't care. Really? Yeah, man. I don't care, man. Like, they don't need to know. They, if they wanted this sort of a Lawrence, they should have shown up to this sort of stream is all I'm saying. I know, Cap. I love your heads at. I also just maxed out secondhand, so it's kind of like celebrating, you know? Yeah, definitely, man. Slash trade Jerome ASF. Hello. Okay, so t tell you what, buddy. Uno. Oh. Dos. Oh, my. Tres. And I've got three love more it, Cappy. for myself. I might actually use one of those right now. All right. I just used up all those tokens, buddy. Now let's see. Oh, my gosh, dude. That just got my prestige finder up to 4,300. Huge. That was massive. Think, Thank you, Cappy. I, I might max out my meteor. Oh, dude, do you think you'll reach nuke this season? Possible. That's a tough one, though. Nuke is, yeah, 225. Uh, I'm going to say probably. Yeah, I'm going to say probably. Do you think you're okay. going to reach it? I'm not sure. I'm at 383 right now. If we have some good streams in the middle, we might, we might be able to make it happen. Yeah, yeah. I agree. Slash trid. Phantom. Slash thread phantom man. Who phantoms. phantom? What does phantom cookie? Yes. Oh, dude. <laughs> what? Oh, oh, oh. Be you okay? stole my beating heart. 40Q. What? 40Q. 40 40Q? 40 That's preposterous. What reason could there be for such an amount of money? Oh my. That is insane. That make that is not okay. Command Witchery said for three Q tokens you could prestige Jackhammer and max it immediately. Wait, really? I kinda cap, I'm so down for that. Wait, wait, wait. Can you give me some of those Q tokens? Let's test this out. Okay, I've got another three Q tokens I could totally give you. So slash trade, Jerome, ESF. Let's see if this yeah. is true. I've never prestiged any of my enchants. Prestige Jackhammer has got to be insane, though. Oh, my God, yeah. So here you go. Let, on the record, I gave, I like shuffled for you guys six Q tokens to Jerome today. Oh, my. Thank you so much for the people who supported us today. You're all so amazing. Yeah, thank uh, you, guys. And Cap, I did it. I prestiged it. So, I, oh, it gets up to the max level is now 11,000. Slash Dragon Slayer. 
so 11,000. Jeez. All right, let's see. Was he telling the truth? Renee Stewart thinks the $10 stream tip. Ice cream headache equals imagine dying to cones. Oh, you mean brain freeze. Oh, wow. Uh, he was wrong, but not by much. It got me to 10,960, Cappy. Oh, dang. How much does each of those upgrades cost from that point, though? Well, my activation chance is 5.4% instead of, I think it was 5 before. So I guess a 10% better chance of happening is the best way to think about it. Okay. That's pretty, that's pretty solid. But you got to think about every time that your enchantments have another chance to go off because of second hand and dragon eye and stuff like that. Yeah, true. And I think Dragon Eye has the opportunity to manually mine each of the blocks you get with Jackhammer. I believe so, so, yeah. So I think your enchantments can proc through that as well. So you can get more Jackhammer for your Jackhammer. So Yeah, so I heard you like Jackhammer, so I put some Jackhammer in your Jackhammer. Yeah, we've maxed out second hand, and now I'm working on that and have Jackhammer above. Like, dude, I'm literally getting Jackhammer to go off all the time. Yeah. We're, like, finally hitting a serious stride, dude. Oh, dude. They're going to be so jealous. I know, right? Oh, they're going to cry about it. They're going to be like, what? Wait. Fly me to the moon. What are you still considering? You hand me mini bomb. I accept this is entire transaction. I'm on a watch list. All right, there we go. Hey, it looks like for the next stream coming up in about 15 minutes, everyone, we're going to keep this one rolling. We'll just put it on the screen, like, come back soon. Uh, but for that stream, it looks like Drops is going to be around. Yeah. That's exciting. I think she'll enjoy what we got going. Have yeah. you said what we're playing over there? Mario Party. Yes, Mario Party in Minecraft. When the moon hits your eye like a big pizza pie, that's a more. Yeah, that's tempura. When an eel bites your heel and you're frightened with zeal, that's a more. <laughs> That's tempora. <laughs> when you feel the need to sneeze and you mispronounce trees, sycamore. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's all the ones I got right there. But I feel like you could we could probably figure out more if we wanted to like do a whole thing about it. Oh yeah, probably. But we won't. <laughs> yeah, probably. Potion class is a bore, and you need to go snore, Dumbledore. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! So I've got a 40Q consumable over here, Jerome. That's pretty. Oh, awesome. that is awesome. Damn. That does sound pretty cool. Like, do we want to save that for a video, though? Like, 40Q. For yeah, I think we save that for a video for sure, dude. Yeah. Right. Cause that's a lot. That's gonna be wild. Yeah, definitely. I think the I think before that we just need to get your uh pickaxe level up, you know. Oh, it looks like Blade's backing me up in there about stead. Sad times. <laughs> Laser plates that I've recently figured out I'm a bit better in the colorblindness spectrum as I'm a moderate Dutin and you're a strong Dutin. Hey, I'm a big strong Dutin. Thank you very much. You're a Dutin. So, do you remember when you realized you were colorblind at all, Trump? I was so young. I remember... I... Yeah, I remember like, we did like the at like one of the school test things. I would say the earliest memory I have of when like it should have been a red flag that I was colorblind was when my kindergarten teacher, uh, my kindergarten like art teacher, like they had like an art class that you'd go to like once every like week or whatever, and 
and he, um, what is it? And he yelled at me because I drew the sky, uh, purple. And I was oh. like, I don't get it. Like, what's the problem? Dude, that person was just a bad teacher. You don't oh. yell at kids. Oh, dude, I still remember the guy's name to this day. He's just a jerk. I mean, some people yeah, are just like... miserable individuals. I still remember his name, dude. All these years later. Dude, that person is a fake teacher. Like, I've had some good teachers in the past. People who, like, helped me realize things about me, like myself. And, like, that guy. Oh, I've had some very uh, great teachers, dude. Some of them, like, some of the best I could ever ask for. Like, I had one teacher who taught me how to make a smothered burrito, and I was like, yeah, you're pretty cool. Okay, that's awesome. What class was that? <laughs> oh, well, smothered burrito, we just, like, I was into teacher's lounge because I got in trouble. <laughs> okay. Well, like, you know, it happens. I, I, but I missed, I missed lunch, so he's like, hey, bud, here, throw some, like, cheddar cheese on this microwave burrito. And I'm like, oh. And it was great. But other teachers I had, like, they would make, like, legitimate hot chocolate in class. Oh, okay. Like a science teacher one time, they just brought out the hot plate. They got the Bunsen burner going, and they got, like, this freaking, uh, like, giant skillet, and they just started, like, pouring milk and chocolate in there. It was so good. All right, everyone. Well, I think we're going to call it quits here, but stick around. We'll be live with a bunch of the other buddies as well. And we'll be having some fun times here. In about 10 minutes, everyone. We'll be back in literally like 10 minutes. Yeah. BRB.